What's going on, Sith friends? Darth Kimchi here. We're back with another roster review. Next on that list is James. It's plain and simple. R.I.P. Mini. So the guild that he is the leader of is called Galaxy of Galactic Padawans. I love that name. Huge Sith bump. All right, he's in Division 8. Great job there. I'm in Division 6, and I'm trying to help people be prepared for my level, and I love to do roster reviews. I always want to see what people's journey are, uh, what they've done in the game. I really enjoy it. All right, so we're going to start with Fleet Rank number 18. Good job there. How high can you get, James? Definitely, that keeps yourself competitive in the game by getting those crystals. All right, let's go take a look. So, James, I hope you know, in Division 7, you've got to have four fleets. Nobody has four. It'd be super beneficial if you can have three, and we'll talk about it. So, good job with Negotiator. I didn't get Negotiator to seven stars until I was in Division 7. I was spending all that juicy get two on gear, so definitely don't do that. Get that mama ship. If you're not going for SOKR or Ray for their capital ship, or another Galactic Legend doesn't come out where it has a capital ship, you've got to get Malevolence, both to seven stars. And then your third fleet, we could talk about Chimera or Home One. Let's go take a look at your regular ships. Got Vader, Anakin, that's a long grind. Me and Carter Peters, I agree, man. He, long grind, fist bump. It'll be, it felt feels like forever, but you'll get it. Uh, boss get six stars R3 be careful for any spy that's over R3 it can one shot boss snips they got the geos slave one is so squishy imperial type fighter used to dominate back in the day plo Koon's great I recommend gear 11 or 12 with mods to keep that ship alive so you don't lose any banners it is great off the bench I definitely recommend it off the bench leveled up very nice Imperial Tide Bomber, good job there. And then that's kind of about it. You know, you're 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 working on it. So definitely, I would highly recommend. So first off, you got to get Bacon Tomato. That's the BTLB Y-Wing for Negotiator. That allows you to pull Hound's Tooth away from Negotiator. And then you've got a favorite Hyena Bomber, Vulture Droid. Those three ships right there are going to cause you some gray hairs. Those are long grinds. For your third fleet, Home One with Rebel Y-Wing and Millennium Falcon. That on its own is a total different headache grind. Or Chimera with Bosk, Imperial Tide Bomber, and Vader is a great squad. All right, so don't neglect your fleet. Definitely got to have two great fleets. The road to Kyber is full clears. All right, let's go to your squad arena team. Like I said, good job with uh, Jedi Revan. Let's get in there and take a look at it. All right, Galactic Power, 2.7 million. Huge fist bump. He's been playing since 2017. That's a long time. I respect that. Uh, one of his regrets is that he did step away from the game way too many times. I can see that in his relics. So first off, let's look at the relic tunes. He's got 11. That's crazy. So this is the second video I've had to do. Like I did a 38-minute video the first time around and just got lost. You know, I just don't see rosters with only 11 relics in Division 8 and mods need some work. And let's try to redo this in... As always, guys, I love our community, so if I miss anything or if you have any um, super helpful positive tips, comment below. Let's keep it positive always. You know, the grind in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes is horrendous. We all go through it, so to be anything other than positive is not what I'm about. So we are all here to help each other grow in the game. So first off, I want to talk about what you have. So I definitely think you're building a rare unicorn account by controlling your relic levels. That's insane to me in Division 8. Great job with that to control. You know, who you don't, do not relic is the utmost importance. Take it from me. I have seen what dominates in every single level in Division 7. I'm now in Division 6, and it's not defense. It's less relics. The more relics, the more galactic legends you face. So me and Carter Peters always talk about, you know, defense, you should have some relics. You know, yes, you don't want to put garbage, but the more relics you put on defense, it's just, you, you know what I mean. You got to control those relic levels. And then one relic factions are definitely very important, huge. So <clears throat> now he said he's going for gas. I got, I got to talk a little bit, guys, because his roster is not that big. So he's going for gas. Great job. You definitely got to get gas. He is the best non-galactic legend in the game, so definitely got to get him. Uh, he did say his hardest grind is CLS. We'll just talk about that. He wanted me to check out his Rose Tico. 
Uh, let's see here. I'm just looking at my notes at the side. Bear with me, guys. All right. So let's talk a little bit about that. So if you're building all those squads, like you're going for gas, let's say you're going for gas, and then you're working on solidifying JKR, Padme, your Darth Revan, your Darth Malak, while you're doing that, and then you're going to run into a Galactic Legend. So what you've got to do is JKR, Padme, for sure, solidify their rosters, their mods, and then to me, gas. Gas is the third most important. Those three right there, and then get a Galactic Legend. So that's what it should be. JKR, Padme, Gas, Galactic Legend. Those are the four things right there you should concentrate on. So that's going to be ranked number three. Every single Grand Arena, every single time in Division 7. What gets you top two and number one all the time is after that Galactic Legend. That's where you get Darth Revan and Darth Malak or... Or, or, or a CLS squad. You don't need both. The, that right there dominates every single round of Division 7 wins every single time. And then they have trash after that. So like I said, you know, when I say who cares about defense, you don't want to put garbage, but, you know, really, who cares? You know, the road to full, to, uh, the road to Kyber is full clears. So definitely somewhere along this, you know, that's why I love to have the community to help me out. You know, I'm not perfect. I'm not a roster review expert. I just love to see people's grind. You know, I want to start a second account, but I can't do that because I am too busy. So I love to see what people have. But if you want some help, definitely comment below. Great people from my community will reach out before I even see you comment. That means a lot to me. Or you belong in my Discord. We have the bots for help, the iTunes bot. We have it all in a great community. Good people from all over the world in every single division helping each other grow in the game. So before I look through, you know, is that kind of like what people agree with? You know, I think that's super important. You can't build all those core teams getting all those relics, and then you're going to face a Galactic Legend. You will have to do what I do on defense. I have to put all my super heavy teams on defense, and then I use my defense for offense. It's kind of weird, you know what I mean? So it's like somewhere in that journey, you've got to get that Galactic Legend, and then that's why I say all the time, guys, this is a perfect roster for what I say all the time. JKR, Padme first, then Gas. Those three, for sure. And then you should have your Galactic Legend. Then that's when you want to get Darth Vader, Darth Malak, or CLS. All right, so let's look through first off is the CLS grind. I definitely think that is a bigger grind than Darth Vader and Darth Malak. What do you guys think about that? So first, you got to get Bounty Hunters to get Chewbacca. Great job there. While we're on this screen, I want to recommend everyone build this team that I recommend. Or a Sing Lead Bounty Hunter. They're all gear 12. I only have a Relic Bosk. So Aura Sing, and then you want Boss to go first. Boss gains Taunt and Frenzy. Then Grief Karga immediately goes, uses his middle ability, everyone assists. Then because Boss has Frenzy, he gains 100% turn rate. If someone uses a special, he throws out his net, everyone assists. It uh, triggers the contract. So you've got to control the Mandalorian's speed compared to Bosk and Grief Karga because he'll go before the contract's triggered. You want him to go right after the contract is triggered. I have it down to where he disintegrates on his first move. I like Boba Fett because I can ability block whoever can take off buffs from Mando. You know what I mean? The Mandalorian, he's got to have a lot of critical chance. I see health. He's at a critical chance of 52%. So because of Dislin Bounty Hunter, each time he scores a critical hit, he gains 30% turn meter, and other Bounty Hunter allies gain half that amount. It makes them nasty. With Aura Singh lead, when you take somebody out, they get more turn meter. I'll tell you, it gets pretty nasty. It's a great squad. So good job with your Bounty Hunters to get Chewbacca. That right there is a grind. I respect this CLS grind. Let's go take a look at Ewoks. So really cool. I love Ewoks. He has the perfect squad. I also use them on defense coming up in Grand Arena. They would get some holds, you know, an offense for fun sometimes. But now that a Galactic Legend is the way, if you don't have a GL, you won't even be able to get to the back wall. All right. So Poplu should always go first. Now, he does need a lot of work on mods. He doesn't have speed in the secondary, a lot of them. You know, speed mods with no speed in the secondary, you all say it should be a powwow and they'd be burnt and thrown out. So he's at 118 speed. 
because of don't hold back, he gets 25% speed boost. He goes first. I pass turn meter to Wicket or Elder to get that turn meter train started. They are really, really good. I love the Ewoks. You know, if you control your relics like you have, you know, you could do fun things. And we got great people on my Discord. You know, we got Lady Sabine, R6 Sabine Wren, my cup runneth over with an R9 cup. I mean, come on. That's crazy. All right, so good job with Ewoks and Bounty Hunters. Look at your Rebels. Good job. Great job with CLS, Chewbacca. You got C-3PO. You got Han Solo. You got Chupio. Huge Sith bump, bro. That was a grind. I definitely agree. So there's a good buddy in my Discord, Varmint54, has a nice little video on CLS modding and so many different ways to mod him. So good job with the four speed, the two health. So we'll just look at the golden ones. You got 11 speed here. You know, if you have offense in the primary, try to get potency and speed in the secondary. You know, with uh, here, offense. Ooh, look at that potency. That's nasty. Look at that tenacity. Amazing, amazing mod right there. On the diamonds, we always want to look for offense percentage and speed for sure. It's got no speed in the secondary, so you can definitely get rid of this one. Okay, you've got try to shoot for offense percentage and, you know, potency percentage, tenacity, of course. It's very hard to farm all those. I would say now that try to get at least two things that you need. Critical damage here, offense percentage for sure. You want speed. All right, so that's a nice CLS. You know, he's got... Good health protection chunk, speed 228. You definitely got to get them at least, you know, faster, a lot faster. Mine's 300 because they do live off of turn meter. You know, it binds all things. He inflicts two debuffs with his basic. That turns to 20% turn meter, 10% from the rebels. You want, now that Chupio's in the game, you want CLS modded so dupe, super duper well because Chupio takes 40% from him for himself and then half to the Rebels. All right. You've got Chewbacca. All Tenacity. Very nice. I made the switch too to all Tenacity mods. Tenacity cross for sure. I agree, Varmint54. I agree, buddy. Speed 217. You know, he always assists, but, you know, speed's just the way of the game. It's what speed you can definitely get. Critical damage, potency, tenacity, 133%. Very nice. Mine's 160%. I had him at like 120. He still got debuff. So always try to, you know, once you max out this right here, you're definitely going to be good. Okay. Uh, try to shoot for tenacity in the secondaries. Tenacity there. Speed. 10 speed tenacity. You definitely got some uh, chances for, for Chewbacca to be even better with those mods. All right, C-3PO, you definitely want to have the guard on CLS and Han, not on C-3PO. I've had to play with C-3PO's mods to make sure he was higher than CLS. 202 speed, 109% potency. Okay, you got 3 speed, 15, 9, no speed there. Listen, he's got a great roster. Just, just definitely needs to work on some speed, uh, some speed in, in his uh, secondaries. Han Solo, we know. Crit damage, crit chance. Uh, offense here for sure. Critical damage here, no speed. Offense here maxed out, no speed. Stats wise, 200 speed, 2700 damage. Like I said, he's, he's got the tunes. He has the right squads. Just definitely needs to go through a whole modding. Um, Definitely just work on mods a lot. Okay, Chupio, so he takes 40% from CLS. So I understand the four critical damage. You could do four offense, four critical damage. Um, I have him from all tenacity as well. You know, through relics, he gets pretty powerful and, you know, gets some offense from the CLS's kit. So I like all tenacity. You know, mine does get you know, stunned, and, you know, he gets taken out of the game. So, for sure, I would probably recommend all tenacity as well. All right, let's see here. Let's go back to regular roster. Okay, so I'm just looking at my notes, make sure I kind of went over all that. Yeah, I did. All right, let's see. Okay, so I, all right, my notes are done. I went through my notes, and now let's just go ahead and look through the roster. So like I said, he's got Darth Vader, good job. He's got JKR, he's got Padme, he's got CLS. So he's got Darth Revan. He's got Darth Malak down here. Where is he? There he's right there. So he's got a lot of teams. Like I said, guys, 
that's what I highly recommend. You know, don't work on all these core teams at one time. So, you know, to me, it's like a lot of people say, you know, I'm going to say stop on Darth Vader and Darth Malak. I'm going to say stop for now. Um, most people probably say not to do that, but you already got CLS and Chewbacca, you know, relics. You know, I'm proud of my CLS squad. I love CLS. I don't have Darth Vader or Darth Malak. You've got JK, you all got Padme. That's kind of what you need. I'm telling you, if you work on that Darth Revan squad, you relic them because you got to relic them all. Darth Revan, Darth Malak, Bastard Sean Fallen, HK. You got to relic them all. If you do that, I'll guarantee you, you will face your first Galactic Legend. So stop on Darth Revan, Darth Malak. You know, I would say stop on whatever else and try to get gas. And said, I'm just harder for me to do just because it's, you know, I'm in Division 6 and I don't usually see accounts like this in Division 8 with this many relics. All right, let's take a look at Speed Tunes first. Okay, Jedi Knight Revan. Okay, so he's got four speed, good mods. He's got 318 speed, very nice. So you definitely know that there's speed in the secondary that needs to be done. Anyone has a JKR 318 definitely knows. I think mine's 317, so good job there. Okay, I don't really care about anything else on, on JKR. I want him to survive. But that's good damage. That's good critical chance. 22 speed. 13. 25, very nice. 21. 21, and of course, 32 up here. Okay, so good job with JKR. I definitely know he's got to have four speed. You know, you definitely want to roll two health just because he, I want survivability. I do have critical chance because I want him to crit, but you have very high critical chance secondaries you have that, which you have him at. So good job with JKR. He's basically done. You could unfavor him. R6 is totally fine. You don't have to R7 him. Uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn. 297, awesome, great job. Mine's 333 speed in, in my division. You know, to fracture your opponent's best tune or to pass Terminator to whoever you need to, to start that battle, it's super important. Good job with Thrawn. You've got 22, 11, 18, 9, 18, okay. Bosk. You're definitely using boss for offense, you know. Um, let's see. Health protection, that's good. You could use that on defense. Speed, 279. Tenacity, 67%. On defense, even with his lead, it should be well over 150%. So this is definitely an offensive team. Boss is great. I just don't like that on his lead ability, you have to target the weakest enemy 10 times. And sometimes you can get stuck behind taunts. So I love Aura Sing. Aura Sing, you can target anyone while you have buffs. All right, Jedi Knight Anakin, critical damage. So there's so much to do with, um, you know, crit avoidance nowadays. So people do run with four offense, but four critical damage is totally fine. You have health protection, very nice, respectable. Speed 279, that's on the higher end of what uh, Jedi Anakin is usually at. Potency, very nice, 82%. Damage, 7,000, 7, decent job there. Critical chance, good job. So 7,000, that's actually pretty good. Uh, 8,000 is pretty high, that's what I kind of have mine at. But good job there. But then again, I have offense mods. He has critical damage. So that's actually really good. Eight, look at that potency. That's nasty. It's probably one of the highest potency secondaries I've seen. 11%. That's nasty. Okay, you've got potency here. Very nice. That's how I see it. That potency is pretty high. And then you got definitely you know, offense percentage for sure. It's always great to have on a diamond for someone who deals damage. Okay, potency again. 21 speed. 24 speed, look at that potency. Ah, he's got defense in the primary. So, yeah, you definitely get rid of this mod. I would say definitely for sure. Offense percentage primary with potency and speed. Ah, just like that. If that defense was offense, this would be a nasty god tier mod. So, definitely, I would say switch to offense. Here, here, critical damage for sure. Offense percentage and speed in the secondary. Speed up here for sure. Offense percentage in the secondary for sure. Potency percentage for sure. Yeah, it's nasty. 11%. So good job with Anakin. That's a great Anakin. To have that kind of potency without having a potency primary on the cross. Very nice. Darth Revan. Okay, you're working on a four speed. 263. Uh, the mix match says just because of uh, the speed. It's got 19. And it's got 17. So totally understand that. I've done that with my Thrawn. So good job with Darth Revan. You know, good job for getting him. I should have to grind as well. You know, you have all the great core teams. 
Um, I would say in Division 7, he can't be less than 330 speed. There are a lot of wrecks out there nowadays that are fast, that are built to beat Darth Revan. You know, if you can get him, he should probably be like your fat. Once you get him up and running, he should be your fastest squad. And Well, of course, JKR is going to be first because his speed boosts. But, you know, if you can get him to, you know, 350 and stun your opponent in Division 7, I said it's very hard to get a a Rex to 313 in Division 7, but then I but I, I very rarely see him faster. Mine's 313. It's very hard to do that in Division 7. But Darth Revan's fast is deadly. You know, uh, get in my Discord. We got only fast people I know that are over 350 are on my Discord. Excellence is the top one at 357, which is nasty. All right, so let's go back to your regular roster. Okay. All right, so like I said, it's so cool to see not many. I mean, you've controlled your roster. I mean, look, you've got uh, a lot of gear 12, a lot of gear 11. You know, I love how you've controlled your gear and your relic levels. Just needs mods. I want to look to make sure I don't skip anybody. What time are we at? 21 minutes. Okay, plenty of time. I don't go by a timer anymore, but I kind of just don't want the videos to go over 30 minutes. So Darth Malik, before we skip him... All hell. So I, I recommend all tenacity. You know, I don't have Darth Malik, so if you guys do, you know, one of the top ones I can remember is Stanimal the Ravenous in my Discord. He's got like a, almost 200% tenacity. Darth Malik. Darth Malik can solo Padme squads that have that much nasty tenacity. So I would do all tenacity. So you want more protection to health because protection turns to health. Speed 134, you're definitely working on him. So, guys, if anyone you guys have that amazing Darth Malik, this is where your time where I need your help. You know, put something in the comment section. What do you want on every single mod? Uh, primary, what do you want to see in the secondaries? Very hard to get more than two great things you want in the secondary. Definitely tenacity cross. You know, Darth Malik is nasty. You know, with Vader being nerfed, I definitely think that he should be nerfed. Him and Ness should not be soloing squads. Especially in Division 7, especially good squads. All right. Treya, Scion, I definitely recommend. I don't even use Nihilus. He's going for gas, so definitely Rex. Like we, we talked about the speed. No less than 313 speed. You know, 315 for insurance. He got, he's got that for Nest. Okay, I see. You know, he definitely want a lot of tenacity. He, she can't be less than 160%. Mine at 169%, she still gets debuffed. She needs to be super high tenacity, all tenacity mods. If you do get Ness, she is amazing. A lot of people put hot trash on defense. But then again, it's usually on the back wall in divisions, like the higher level Division 7. So if you don't have a Galactic Legend, you can't get through the front wall. You don't really need Ness anymore. It's more about Galactic Legends and finishing your core. Rose Tico, uh, I thought, you know, he would say that she was maybe gear 12 or he put a Zeta. Did he put a Zeta here on Valent Spirit? You know, I don't knock anything. I was let it have that bad Zeta. You know, I thought she'd be gear 12 or Relic or something like that. That'd be cool. I love to see that stuff that's non-meta, like, you know, a Sabine Ren, a R9 Cub. You know, that's cool to see. All right. That's kind of about it. He's left the game a lot of times. Level 85 Cub. Moff Gideon's amazing. I definitely would not have level 85. Oh, I just now saw that. So that's factoring into your galactic power. Wow. That's a lot of 85 level tunes. Especially Cup, Cara Dune. You know, totally fine. You know, it's a, we're all here to help each other grow in the game. So I don't knock anyone's journey. It's not a problem. So, you know, I see you didn't do it down here. Good job there. You know, if you're not going to use the tune, don't relic it. Don't, or not relic it. Don't gear it up. Don't. I don't even activate mine. I think I have like 45 tunes that are not activated. I'm definitely going to go for Star Killer, so I definitely did the Dash Rendar. I think I have him at three stars. So very nice. Going back up. Moff getting with Vader is amazing. All right, back to the top. All right, so looking at... Uh, let's go look at Grandmaster Yoda. So Grandmaster Yoda, four critical damage. Um, the reason why people have four offense on Grandmaster Yoda, because I'm not sure if you know, he does special damage. So special damage, uh, special damage, special damage. So special damage critical chance is usually not that high. Speed 204, you got a super fast Jedi Knight Revan. 
I like Grandmaster Yoda to go right after JKR. Some people like him to go first to put out that um, battle meditation to try to protect the squad. So he definitely needs a lot of more speed. And then he's your damage dealer. So he's at 8,000 damage. That's too, not too bad. But look at his critical chance. That's 26%. So that's why a lot of people have an offense primary on the triangle. Just because he does special damage. So crit damage, but offense. I see that basically 1%. Okay. All right. Hermit Yoda. Very nice. Mine's at like 317 speed. He needs to be fast. I'm, I have him rolling with JKL. 244. So with JKR, you know, you get 40. That's 284. That's definitely nice. Let's see. Did we look at Padme? Four speed, two health. Okay. What's her stats at? At R5, that's kind of what you see. Um, mine's at 80,000 because I have, you know, health percentage. So our health mods, health, at least 80,000, speed 237. So you're definitely using her on offense. You're not putting her on defense. So you should be using Padme Squad to take out Kylo Ren on mass squads easily, especially with Anakin having high potency. So when you're going as a crew squad, in your division, crew should be like 260, 270 speed. He can, he'll usually stun Padme and they'll target snips and you can lose snips. So I always say at least 280 speed, 285 for insurance, no less than 80,000 health. Makes her pretty good. All right. Brood Alpha. Let's check out Brood Alpha. It's got all health mods. Protection here. Okay, so I love Brood Alpha. So let's take a look here. A lot of protection. I would try to get more health, but great job on the protection. Speed 203. So... He's definitely got to be faster. Vaders can solo a Brute Alpha squad. You know, mine's at 293 speed, and my tenacity is like 184%. So there is no Vader alive out there that's soloing my bugs. He's definitely got to use a whole squad, maybe even use Piet, you know, Bastion Fallen, you know, Palpatine lead to try to get more potency. So definitely recommend a lot of speed. 16 speed, no speed. No speed, no speed, 15, and of course 32 up here, all right, so let's see here, Palpatine, you've got speed, no speed in the secondary, no speed in the secondary, 9 speed, no speed in the secondary, 14 speed. Speed up here for sure. Uh, protection with no speed. Ooh. Uh, 157. Potency 48%. All right. So, you know, I, I love your roster because you have, you know, everything you need. Um, I just don't want to give out wrong advice, but let's see. Let me keep looking through. Bassa Sean Fall. And the good tip I can give to her is, you know, I can use my CLS squad to. I'll use Han will shoot first. I'll target Bastard Sean Fall, and both Chewies will assist. And I can usually get her down in the low red, if not take her out. And then CLS goes next because all the turn meter, and I can take her out. So she doesn't even take a turn. So it's got to be health protection here. Health protection here with the potency in the secondary. It's got to have health protection here. People in high end Division 7 have nothing but what I'm telling you. They don't have no critical damage, no potency, because they know she can be taken out. Protection. She's got to have speed. She's got to take. She's got to be pretty fast too. Bastard Sean Fallen, Darth Revan, Darth Malak should not be less than 300 speed. They should be over like 310, 315 if you can. Let's see here. Joe Lee. He is the key to your Jedi Knight Revan squad. I would highly recommend early game players. Critical avoidance arrow, but it's got to have speed in the secondary for sure. If you can get health percentage, great. Okay, here you want to put health for sure maxed out. This has got to be tenacity, very nice. Health here for sure. I've had a protection, not a problem because I didn't have a health, but definitely all health. You know, six dot the diamond because he gets, um, makes him thicker. He basically is a healer, but he's a tank. So he gets 100% tenacity from his kit. You have him at 217, not too bad. Uh, tenacity, 191%. You're getting half of that back as critical avoidance. So good job there. Okay. So very nice, good good work with uh, Joe Lee. He definitely is the key. I would relic him for sure. He's definitely a key over Bass Lashawn. I don't even have Bass Lashawn relic. 
Okay, Boba Fett, kind of, uh, we know Boba Fett. Okay, for speed. I'm trying to go over key tunes. Darth Trey and Darth Scion. So modding them both for critical avoidance arrows, very nice for sure. 16 speed in the secondary, very nice. You've got offense, offense. I would take that offense off if he's gonna die. Um, lots of health, protection, survivability. I would even switch the speed mods out to health and defense because you know it's great to have these certain teams that you can know for sure We'll take out bugs. Everyone has bugs on defense. Everybody. So you to know that Dartre and Scion can take them out easily. Them two relic, you know, R3 with good mods, critical avoidance arrows, you know, get rid of the speed. Will easily drop a full relic to brood squad easily. They need survivability. It doesn't matter how fast they are. It does not matter at all. You want the bugs to take a lot of turns and it will and they'll just defeat themselves. Uh, Spy, I would definitely recommend, you know, keep your Geos to gear 12. Let's go to your Geos real quick. Keep your Geos at gear 12. Definitely uh, Relic Brute Alpha. I'm not sure when you should do that. I would, don't do it now, you know. You, you definitely have to complete some squads. But Relic Brood, Relic Spy is really all you need. Especially for Spy ship. My, my ship can do like 26,000 damage. It's basically a one-shot. He's deadly. He can one-shot Bosk. Okay, so here, uh, coming up, I would recommend Protection. Because he could die during territory battles because he's too weak. Critical damage here for sure with offense percentage, great. Want to have speed as well. Maxed out square. Makes him deadly. He is your damage dealer. He is amazing. All right. We talked about Brood. So like I said, guys, any helpful tips, let's definitely put in that comment section. Like I said, I love the roster. I love how he has such a well-balanced roster. He's not going too crazy with relics. You know, with B1, B2, you know, I relic my whole General Grievous squad except for B2. There's so many relics I wish I did not do because, like I said, you know, I don't, don't want to say it doesn't, who cares about defense, but it's all about full clears. That's the way to Kyber. And, you know, offense, being offense minded will, you know, keep you from relicking so many tunes. Like I said, the more relics you have, just the more Galactic Legends you're going to face. Learn from my mistakes, guys. I have like 40 relics. I, only have, I don't even have a Galactic Legend yet. So let's see here. That's what I would definitely recommend. Uh, I'm trying to think if I've skipped anyone. We'll definitely look at Darth Vader. He's got four critical damage, two health. Very nice. Um, early game players. There's also so many ways you can mod Darth Vader. Early game players, four speed, two potency, two crit chance, two health. Whichever secondary set you can get better secondaries on. So you see here. You guys know I don't care about health and protection. Speed 217, so your Vader can solo your bugs. At least 250 in Division 7. Got a critical damage triangle. Potency 56%. There's so much resisting in the game. I know it is in Division 8. Division 7, a lot of people have them over 100%. Mine's at 107. We just saw Noah at like 118 or something like that. Ridiculous. Damage 7,500. That's a good damage for critical damage mods. I have 8,000. So you got an offense arrow or a cross. Nope got protection so definitely potency primary with offense percentage and speed in the secondary for sure who cares what the third and fourth are it's kind of so hard to get four of the same thing that's or not same thing but four secondaries that you really need that's very hard critical damage here for sure i like that potency it's got the offense percentage but it's got no speed okay offense up here if that tenacity was potency right yeah, so you got to have offense percentage here for sure. Because he has been nerfed. He definitely does need an offense percentage in his diamond. Same thing with the circle. Offense, very nice. 5%, very nice. All right. What time are we at? We're at 34 minutes. Like I said, I wish I could keep going. I love looking at rosters, guys. It's, I want to be super helpful. But it's very rare to see this kind of roster in Division 8. So what I would just say, buddy, um, you know, People comment as well, you know, I definitely would like you for to focus on that Galactic Legend. You know, to me, for sure, finish that JKR, finish the Padme, get those two squads, you know, solidified and done. And then you got to get gas. To me, it's got to be gas. Those three teams, for sure, 
you know, that's why I say those three, th those three teams for sure. And then your Galactic Legend. Do not do CLS and Darth Revan before your Galactic Legend. You will face a GL and you'll have to totally switch on defense. you got to put everything good on defense. All right, guys. So if you're enjoying these Ross reviews, as always, blast that like button. I respect everyone's grind. Until next time, Darth Kimchi, signing out.